Hey guys, I'm uh, just going to check the amps on this Quincy compressor. I never did that actually. Uh, I put the new belts on and I thought maybe that they might not slip as much. So just uh, let's try this again here. Okay. And I'm just going to put it around one leg here. There we go. And here we go. Let's see if I can. So the one leg is running about 24, 24.2 roughly, and the other leg is running about the same. Plus had a little resistance someplace because before when I had this meter near, I was pulling close to 25, and uh, the pressure is increasing. Okay, so the one thing is this motor is only a 23 amp uh, motor with a uh, 1.0 service factor, not a 1.5. Now the other day I was running this compressor pretty heavy and this motor didn't even get warm. So I'm thinking what my saving grace is, why this motor will probably work just fine is because it's got this cooling fan on the end. And being that this is a 1725 RPM motor, there is a fair amount of air that comes across these fins. So I'm probably okay there. Uh, if this motor was a 3450 RPM, um, I would say it's not going to last near as long uh, pulling you know, an extra amp, amp and a half uh, past its uh, current load. But um, at the same time, this is an old GE uh, motor it's cast iron and this sucker weighs at least a hundred pounds if not more so uh, much like the one that took off the compressor that was an old GE too um, GE back in the day built a great motor but uh, the new ones today um, they're all made overseas now so this one was made in the US yet so Anyways, I just wanted to check it out and I thought I'd share it with you. And um, it's it's about where I thought it was. It's pulling around that 24 amps, but for whatever reason at the beginning there was pulling close to 25 or a little over 25, so I'm not sure. But I noticed on the meter too that the meter was always reading 0.1. So, um, but looks to me I'm still running pretty safe here. And uh, let me turn the power off here first before I check this. But um, first of all, this is just barely warm. And uh, the belt tension. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, the outside belt, for whatever reason, is a little bit looser, even though I got the motor as parallel as possible, and it's a little bit looser on the bottom. But these belts are good and snug, so there's very little slippage. So uh, that's kind of what I was after. So I was hoping it was pulling less and I could actually change the pulley size and speed it up a little bit more for a better recovery, but it's got great recovery to begin with, so I guess I'm just going to leave well enough alone. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you, that... Uh, with those new belts, it's still pulling around uh, 24 amps roughly. So, thanks for watching.